So as expected, my Android TV device has now received the latest update and now one third of my home screen is showing me a large advert. Now this was covered last year in various news articles and I even did a video explaining that this is coming on certain devices and some of the things you can do to stop seeing those adverts. Now I'm going to get this out of the way straight away. Um, from a legal perspective, from a Google policy perspective, this is completely in their rights to do. As you guys can see on the official Google policy, we are constantly developing new technologies, new features, and because of this continuous improvement, we can sometimes add and remove features, functionalities, they can increase or decrease limits to the services or start or stop offering services. So basically it's completely up to them when they want to add things like those home screen adverts or take those things away. So from that perspective, they are completely allowed to make that change to our Google home screen on these Android TV devices. The question is, should they? The way I see it is, is all about expectation. So somebody may have seen in the past that, oh look, the Fire Stick has adverts, the Roku device has adverts, I'm now going to buy this Android TV device because I'm not seeing any adverts. Similarly, uh, for example, with Amazon Kindle devices, they actually have two price points. The cheaper price is actually advertised that it does come with adverts. So every time you start the device, you do see an advert, whereas a slightly more expensive one doesn't have any adverts. So in terms of expectations, when you buy the device, as you're already told that you're going to see adverts, then you really can't complain too much. But just imagine that the people that paid the premium price for that Kindle without the adverts, if they now started seeing adverts, and that's exactly what's happening to people on their expensive $1,000 or even more expensive devices, which didn't have any adverts when they first bought them, but they're now seeing large adverts on the home screen. And even the adverts, guys, I mean, we could argue that, you know, if I'm subscribed to Netflix or to Disney Plus or to Amazon Prime, then seeing recommendations of content in those applications, because I'm already subscribed to them, it's maybe not as bad because, you know, I already have access to the services and this is now just showing me some new content in those services. The trouble is, as you guys can see on the home screen, I'm now seeing adverts for DAZN and I don't have a subscription to that. So why am I now being subjected to seeing adverts from that service when I'm not subscribed to it? And that I think is the real crux of the issue where Google are now forcing you to look at these other services that you're not subscribed to and showing you big adverts for the services directly on your home screen. Now with that, the question then arises, is the Nvidia Shield going to start getting adverts? And for that, I mean, the article on 9 to 5 does actually have a direct picture on the Google Play Store showing an NVIDIA Shield with the new home screen layout. Now, the layout does look a little bit different, as you can see, compared to the Chromecast. But as there's a Discover tab, you may end up seeing adverts for services that you're not subscribed to. So what can you do? Well, there's two fixes or two things you can do on your device to stop seeing those adverts. Now the quicker one, uh, which is probably a temporary one, is you can actually uninstall the latest update to the home launcher. Now just for clarification, the way that the update works is, is actually a two part process. First you need to get an update to the Android TV launcher installed on your Android TV device, but then also Google have to enable something on the server side on their end. So both have to be done before you start seeing the home screen on your device. Now, so with that being said, if I go over to my settings, here, for example, I'm actually on my uh, Dana link box, which does cost about $50. I can navigate over to my settings, go to applications. Let me look at all applications. And I'm now looking for the Android TV launcher. Uh, let's scroll down. Let's go to system applications. Here it is. So this is the Android TV home. I can now click on that and click uninstall update. So let's do that now. Click on OK. Give that a second. Let's now press the home key. And there we have it. No more adverts on my home screen, but it does mean that I'll have to block those updates coming onto my device. Otherwise, my device will just update to that again. 
but also the reason why this is a temporary fix is because there will come a time where the Android TV will just not support the older version of that home screen. So you'll be forced to have the update. And when that happens, you won't be able to use this particular workaround. Now, the other workaround I recommend for Android TV devices, if you don't want to see these adverts, is to use a custom launcher. Now, typically I recommend the Wolf launcher on all my Amazon devices, but Personally, I would say for Android TV devices, I would recommend using the latest version of the Leanback Launcher. Now this was only updated a few days ago and if I activate that on my device, and this is the custom Leanback on File Launcher, which again was only updated a few days ago. And as we can see guys, no adverts, no sponsored content. I can quickly zip through all my applications and start whichever application I want. Also because it's Android TV, I can use my voice and say, what's the weather in London? Give that a second. And we get the answer straight away on top of our custom launchers. So very easy to use, uh, supports Google Voice. Okay, so if you don't want to see these adverts on your home screen and you want to try that new Leanback launcher, just open up your favorite browser. In my demonstration, I'm going to use Downloader and just navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can also type in the short code 53402 and this will take you directly to my website and let's click on go now when you get to my website if you head over to the hamburger menu which is one with the three lines click on that and you want to then click on tutorials and this will take you to my tutorials page and I've already covered launcher managers or using custom launchers in a previous tutorial so we can just scroll down and find that one again I've added the latest version of Leanback to that tutorial. So keep going down until you see this launcher manager for Fire OS 6 and Android TV devices. So let's click on that. Here we are, we can scroll down and just underneath the step-by-step -step instructions, we're looking for two applications. One is a launcher manager, which allows you to disable your stock launcher and use a custom launcher. And the other thing is the actual custom launcher. So just underneath all of that. And for most Android TV devices, you can use the Launcher Manager for Shield TV, but only if you have the new Chromecast with Google TV, then you want to download this one. But in my example, because I'm doing this on a done link box, so I'm gonna click on the first link here. Scroll down, and you want to click on this green download button. And with this process, you don't have to type in any kind of manual ADB commands or anything like that literally just one click, and this will then disable your stock launcher, allowing you to choose a custom one. Let's click on install, click on done. You can now press the back button, and you can now choose whichever custom launcher you want. In my example, I'm going to use Leanback on Fire, which is version 1.26, which is the latest one. So let's click on that, and also download that as well. Once you've downloaded both these applications to your device, you want to now press the home key, go to device preferences, click on about, and you want to click on your build number seven times until eventually it says you are now a developer. When it says that, you can now press back on the remote, scroll down, and we can now access these hidden developer options. Let's click on that. If you don't know what you're doing, don't mess about with the settings in here because they can cause serious issues on your device. The only thing we want to do is just enable the USB debugging. So make sure that's turned on. Click on OK. That's now all done. I can now press the home key. I can now start the launcher manager, which has the settings in the tile, but we can see it does say launcher manager underneath it. Let's click on that. And we can see the active launcher is the Android TV home launcher. But what we want to do is click on disable stock launcher. Let's click on that. And we now get this prompt. So you will see this the first time you do this. I can click on allow and click on allow again. And it's now saying that the active launcher is the Android system, which means no default launcher is set. So now when I press the home key, we are now prompted for the launcher. So I'm going to select lean back and I'm also going to select always. And we are now inside the custom launcher and it really is as easy as that. Now, there's lots of things you can do in terms of customizations. You can add in different rows. You can adjust the size of these tiles. And all of that is done at the bottom here. If you click on Launcher. Here, for example, we can go to the home screen view. I can change the default wallpaper. Click on that. 
Now you can download any wallpaper from the internet, but that picture needs to be saved in the root location of your internal storage. So here's some things I've downloaded before. Now let's try one of these. Click on that, press the home key, and we're now using that custom wallpaper. You can change the banner appearance, the size, the radius of the corners. So lots of different customizations that you can do on your device and really just get it looking exactly how you like it. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. And let me know what you think about the new home screen for the devices that have it. And also let me know if you think that the Nvidia Shield is going to get this update or not. So do leave me a comment below. And let me know. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.